Hello and welcome to a week in the life of me. It's Monday, baby boy. Whatever happened last week happened last week. So starting off with Monday, I feel like this is the best time to sort of explain what my daily routine consists of because each day is a little bit similar, but there is something different in each day. So basically every morning of the week, I wake up at seven o'clock for work. As you can see on your screen now, this is what I had for breakfast. I'll normally do something with eggs. And on this day, I did have scrambled egg on toast. So I start work at eight o'clock and for every day except for one, I work from home. So all I simply have to do is come upstairs to where I'm sitting right now and my computer is literally there. So I started work at eight o'clock and I worked through till 12 o'clock when I had my lunch break. And what I'll show you on the screen right now is the meals that I'm gonna be having for this week. It is a chicken noodle dish. And I do my meal preps every Sunday, but during my lunch break, I like to go for a walk. And that's what you'd be seeing on your screen right now. There's a nice lake near me and I like to go around that whenever I can. And as you'll also be able to see, it was really icy. So I thought I'd play a little bit of a game with you all called Did I Fall? Do you think I fell on this ice? It was very slippery. Yes or no? I'll give you three seconds to answer. And yes, I didn't fall. I kept my balance and I didn't fall. But like I said, it was very icy. I had to walk kind of slow around this area, but I didn't fall. Luckily for me. So as I start at work at eight, this means that I can finish at four, which is a little bit earlier than the mad rush. And so this is the time when I go to the gym. So I normally get to the gym at around half four and it means I can get my sort of main compound lifts over and done with before the main group of people come in after five o'clock. So today was a shoulders and arms session. So what you'll be able to see now on your screen is a little bit of shoulder pressing. Currently, I do have a little bit of an injury on my left rotator cuff. And so I was told by my physio that when I'm doing shoulder presses like this, that I should keep my elbows tucked in in front of me. So hopefully this will help anyone suffering with a bit of a rotator cuff injury themselves. If you do want to still shoulder press with less pain, make sure to bring your elbows forward like you can see me doing here on the barbell press and the seated dumbbell press. So after this, I went into the bathroom and I decided to do a little physique update for you all. So this is how I'm currently looking. You'll be able to see a few shots on your screen now. At this point in time, I'm currently sitting at around 101.5 kilograms and I've got a big goal of getting down to 85 kg. In terms of the time frame for this goal, I don't have one specifically, but I'm simply just gonna continue to diet and cut down for as long as I need to. So after this, I went home, I had some dinner and then I did a TikTok live. I go live on TikTok from Sunday through to Thursday, every day in between from half seven to half eight. And if anyone doesn't live in the UK, that is UK time, so you might need to do the conversion. But come and join me. If you find one of those days you have that hour spare to come and have a look at my live and say hello, please do come in and say hi. The lives are really fun. We have a few people chatting in there. We do some song requests. I answer some of your guys' questions and we just have a nice little chat. So make sure you join me in that TikTok live if you can. It's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> So moving on to Tuesday, as I said before, my routine, especially during the week, is pretty much the same. So I won't bore you with any repetition. But like I say, I did the same routine, but I have also been reading as well, as you'll be able to see on your screen now. I've been reading a book called How To Be Confident by James Smith. I'm about 200 pages through at the moment, so I've nearly finished the book. And after reading the amount that I have, I would highly recommend anyone to pick up this book and give it a read. So again, as I try and do every single day, 12 o'clock rolled around and I went on a lunchtime walk. And yet again, it was icy. So it wasn't as bad as Monday, it wasn't as frosted over, but the ice was still there. So why don't we play the game again, hey? Did I fall? Do you think I fell? Yes or no? Again, I'll give you three seconds to answer. Nope, I, <laughs> I didn't fall again. I didn't fall. I, I seem to have pretty good balance. I won't lie, there was a couple of times where I was very close to falling over. My feet kind of slipped from underneath me, but I kept my balance. Later on in the week, the ice did clear up. So again, I stuck with my meal prep this Tuesday. I had my chicken noodles and a Pepsi Max. And I've said this in a video before, but I really like to have those zero calorie drinks like Pepsi Max, Diet Coke, all that type of stuff. Because I just find that it keeps you full and for basically zero calories, you can't go wrong. So four o'clock rolled around again, I was off down the gym and today on Tuesday, I do back and chest. As you'll be able to see on your screen now, I loaded up 190 kilograms on the bar and I was going for as many reps as I can in the one to five rep range. Have a little guess right now as you're watching the video, how many reps do you think I did? You'll be able to see me doing one, doing two, and then it came to the third rep. Oh, it was so close. It was so close. I basically stood up with the weight, but what happened is because my grip strength kind of gave way a little bit, the bar started slipping out of my hand. 
I think if I had chalk, I would have probably hit three reps quite easily. I also did a few other exercises as well. I did six exercises in total. That's three for back and three for chest. And what you'll be able to see on your screen right now is some hard to low cable flies that I did. I definitely like to use the cables wherever possible because they do give you constant tension on your exercises, which is really good. And then the evening rolled around, same thing again, had dinner, did my TikTok live, and then I've been watching Love Island. I know what you guys are thinking, oh my God, he watches Love Island. Yes, I do. Leave a comment down below right now. Do you watch Love Island as well? Put your opinions down in the comments what you think of Love Island. It's Wednesday, I'm like, hey, it's hump day, who gives a f Okay, so Wednesday was an office day. So like I said, towards the beginning of the video, I do have to go into the office one day a week. And normally I do go in on a Tuesday, but on Wednesday this week, we had a big team meeting with all the managers and they were basically just explaining our vision for the next coming year and reflecting on what we've achieved in the past year. So we all went in on the Wednesday, had a lovely buffet in the afternoon for lunch. I wasn't able to track my calories, so I did fall off of the calorie counting in that a little bit on Wednesday, but I still don't think I did too bad given the circumstance. But as you'll be able to see, I still got my lunchtime walk in. The campus that I work at, is quite big so we're able to walk around the car park at lunch it's something that a lot of us do and you're still able to get in a decent amount of steps and it probably takes about 20 minutes to half an hour i'd say to walk around but when i got back in the evening it was a rest day so i didn't have too much to do but after dinner i did my tiktok live and i actually did my first ever podcast so what i'm doing now with these tiktok lives to keep them a little bit interesting is every wednesday i'm going to get a new guest on and i'm going to be doing the sort of live podcast so if that's something that interests you, you'll be able to see the clips on my TikTok page. And if you want to watch the full live podcast, make sure you join me on the Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. UK time. Come and say hello, people. And if you do and you've watched this video first, let me know that you've come from this video. So Thursday, I was back working from home again, so back in my normal routine. And you guys know the drill by now. But one thing that was a little bit different is on my lunchtime walk, I did walk to the car up instead of walking around the lake because there was a couple of things that I needed to get. But I took the long way around and I still got the amount of steps in that I needed for my lunchtime walk anyway. And as you'll be able to see, I was back on track again after the office day on Wednesday and I had my meal prep again, the chicken noodles. And this time I bought a Dr Pepper Zero from the shop, so I had that with my meal. I'm a big fan of Dr Pepper Zero. I know it's not liked by a lot of people, so let me know your thoughts on Dr Pepper in the comments. Are you someone that enjoys it, or would you rather have a Pepsi Max or a Diet Coke? I feel like especially when you're on a cut, it's really important because you're not getting the amount of calories that you'd necessarily want during the day. You happen to eat a little bit less. So mixing up your lower calorie options, like your fizzy drinks, is a great way to keep things interesting. And today in the gym, it was an arms and shoulders day with a focus on triceps. You'll be able to see me doing some barbell skull crushes on the screen. So I have two shoulder and arm days during the week. My one that I have on Monday, I focus on shoulders. And on the Thursday, on alternated weeks, I'll either focus on triceps or biceps, just so all of my muscles get even work. That's how I like to do things. I know a lot of people would say, why would you not just start with shoulders? But because I do a shoulder focus session on a Monday, I like to switch things up on a Thursday. And I find that having an arm focus day is quite fun. And then something a little bit different, I'll play you the clips on the screen in a moment. But I went down to my local power league and I played in my five-a-side team. The clips you'll see on the screen now are just me warming up, taking a few shots on the goal. And let's just say I'm not the most accurate shooter. Yeah, that was freaking fantastic. Yeah, unreal. Right in the corner, bro. And finally, it's the end of the working week. Friday has rolled around and I had myself a little bit of a treat for breakfast. No, I'm not talking about a McDonald's breakfast or any sort of takeaway or anything like that. I just had a little bit of bacon with my eggs on toast. I don't like to have bacon every single day. I do find it's better just to have eggs on toast rather than incorporating bacon every single day. But it is nice to have a bit of bacon once in a while. But yeah, that was my little bit of a Friday treat. I still try and keep my days the same even on a Friday. So I worked eight till 12, then went on a lunchtime walk. I was back on my normal route around the lake again. And then after work, it was in the gym for some chest and back. So just to clarify, I go to the gym on Monday, Tuesday, rest on a Wednesday, go to the gym Thursday and Friday, rest on the Saturday, and then I go to the gym again on Sunday. So today was a chest and back session, and it was a bench day. So I had the thought that, seeing as I've got this shoulder injury, 
I wonder if I can still press 100 kilos on bench press. So I loaded up and I gave it a go. And as you can see on your screen, it moved quite easily with a nice pause on the chest as well. So I feel like my strength is still there on my chest and it definitely gives me confidence going into testing my one rep maxes next week. To see how that goes, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The links will be down in the description. And if you've enjoyed my content on here, you'll definitely enjoy what I post on Instagram and TikTok. So yeah, I still got it. I can still bench press 100 kg. I'm looking forward to testing my maxes. And I also did some pendulum rows as well. This is a really good way to do heavy rows so that you don't get that lower back fatigue. Essentially what you're doing is you're resetting after every rep. So instead of holding that heavy weight at the bottom of the movement and putting stress on your lower back, you put it down, you reset, and then you row again. So the weekend is here and on Friday night after the gym, I went over to my girlfriend's and essentially I spent the weekend there. So she has a little one year old Frenchie and we took her out for a walk to get our steps in. And as you can tell, I do like to make sure I keep my steps up every single day. To me, it's a key tool for fat loss. So wherever I can get my steps in, I'm going to try and do it. And here's a little close up of the dog. As I say, she's only a little one year old puppy. I think she's pretty cute. I thought this would make a nice little section on the video. So after a pretty chilled day, we went and watched the KSI documentary. What did you guys think of that? Have you watched the KSI documentary yet on Amazon Prime? If so, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I thought it was really interesting to see what KSI was like behind the cameras. I thought it was quite sad to see how his relationship was with his parents behind the scenes. But it was really cool to see some of his old videos. I got so much nostalgia from watching the documentary and it was really good. And we have arrived at the end of the week. This is Sunday. So in the morning, I went out for a little Costa date with my girlfriend, got myself a large oat milk caramel latte and a bacon roll, and she got herself a hot chocolate. That's my go-to order. I always get an oat milk latte. I know I've asked you guys to comment a lot, but I want to see them comments filled up, people. So let me know what your Costa order is in the comments. Are you someone that likes a latte as well? Have you ever tried like an oat milk latte or an oat milk cappuccino or something like that? Because oat milk is actually really nice. But after that, it's time for me to go back home. So I came back and the first thing I did was get my car cleaned. So I find Sunday is a great time to just prepare yourself for the week and do those jobs that you don't have time for on the other days in the week. So I got my car cleaned. It was great to see it looking nice and shiny and sparkling. You'll be able to see that on your screen now. And then I went and did some meal prep. So you'll be able to see what I made on the screen right now. A little bit of chicken, rice and broccoli. And I got this recipe from a person on Instagram called Zach Chug or Zach.Chug. I'll put the link to his Instagram in the description below, along with my Instagram and TikTok as well. Go and check it all out after this video, guys. And finally, it was a leg day at the gym and I was feeling really strong today. And as you'll be able to see on the screen right now, I loaded up two plates aside on the bar and I was able to do RDLs for the first time ever with 100 kg. I was really happy with this. I know it's not the strongest, but I've been building this up now for a few months and RDLs aren't one of my strong points. So I think with how slow and controlled the movement was and the fact that I could really feel this in my hamstrings, I'm very happy with getting 100 kg for nine reps on RDLs. So that is the week and that is where this video is gonna end. But now I'd like your opinion. If you haven't left any other comments on this video, please do leave a comment right now and let me know what did you think of this video? What did you think of the weekly vlog? Would you like to see another weekly vlog? If that's the case, let me know by liking this video. And if we can get 10 likes on this video, I will do another weekly vlog. And hopefully we can have a little bit more going on in the week as well. So with that being said, also make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers this year. If we could do that, that would be absolutely amazing. So tap that subscription button. It takes two seconds and it means the world to me. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and peace.